Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Shruti, and uh, I'm making this video to introduce to you all my upcoming program in May 22. And this program is called My Relationships, My Teacher. And it's a deeply uh, personal uh, program that I have been designing for uh, a number of years now. And uh, the core, the idea behind this program is to learn who we are and what do we expect in any significant relationship, be it a romantic relationship, be it a employee boss relationship, be it a child parent relationship, be it a very cordial friendship, or say uh, some conflicted relationships like uh, rejection of someone who uh, constantly bothers, uh, you know, uh, as a presence in my life and is consuming my energy, but I don't know what to do about it, how to let go of it or embrace this reality of me. So positive or negative, that is something uh, that is uh, that we are going to go deeper in the workshop itself. But when we look at beyond polarity, beyond any positive or negative, we see that we are all here and we all survive and thrive in a relational manner. No matter how hard we try to be alone in our own shells, do it everything, doing everything by ourselves, becoming independent, and all of that might be true, but we also are constantly seeking that human connection that aligns with our own purpose, with our own selves, and that helps us in our own journeys. And it's like a collaborative effort that we are always trying to look for. Even if you uh, say, you know, if even if you find someone who is very isolated, you might find them clinging on to their mobile phones and that forms a significant relationship for them. Or you might find someone uh, clinging on to an object. Even that is a relationship for this, for this person. So all we see around us are these various forms of relationship. But even though we look at it so closely, we hardly think of sitting and reflecting on these paths such that I can gather what I am liking slash not liking, what I am desiring slash not desiring, whatever I'm asking for, if that is not happening around me, is it something that I'm uh, missing here? Am I simply stuck in the cycle of say guilt or blame and I'm unable to go beyond it and I have accepted that life can be like this maybe and this is who I am. What if I can look at all these experiences, I can reflect on it with the help of a professional from a trauma-informed lens, from, a, from an aware lens and when I try to reflect from a different lens this time, I might go deeper into my own needs and my own asks from these various relationships. And when I become aware of my own needs and my requirements, I can actually now start expressing them more effectively. I can start embodying them more effectively. And I can start placing the pieces differently that now will pave the path in my own desired say outcome or goal, right? So when I say relationship, please know that it's coming from the context of the fact that we are all relational beings here. And we all, since birth, the first relationship that we find ourselves into is with our mothers as we enter the womb of our mothers. And ever since it has been a journey of these various relationships that we form, that we seek to form and we are unable to. And it's a push and pull that is constantly there in life. So what if we can look at it, we can take the lessons that they are trying to teach us. And what if in return, I get to know the truth of who I am. 
and then maybe i can take conscious decisions towards and in these relationships i can also become aware of what relationships are healthy for me and what are the ones that i need to let go and think of yourself having this wisdom to yourself connecting to your gut such that you know your relationship with your own self that is number 1 and with that you get this whole new wisdom of now knowing what are the relationships that serve me what are the ones that don't serve me what are the ones that i should be taking with me and going ahead with that and what are the ones that i can drop and let go of peacefully and accept that with grace and with awareness of who i am so this opens up a huge expansive space of manifestation of getting what i truly desire and knowing what i truly desire so if you want to tap into this expansion and if you want to really go into this deeper work because it will require a genuine willingness from all of your side to simply look back and reflect on your life on all your significant relationships in the manner that i will be guiding you with right so let me know if you have any questions if you find this interesting if you want to know more and uh, i'm here thank you